So your dad. My, yeah, your dad was like yeah. that's right. speaking right. about that. That's what I'm going through right now. I'm telling somebody my testimony, you know, another sharing it, and they're like, How did you go from there to there? You know what yeah. I mean? So wow, what what a fitting yeah. day, so what a fitting they couldn't people had known him all his life couldn't believe that. He, he just changed. That's just, that was my story. Yeah, yeah. the bars, the drinking, the fighting, and all yeah. of that. Yeah. To completely no drinking, no nothing. To complete being a member of the church and doing everything that we do. Is yeah. that. If this is all you know, Christianity helps if you help it. Yeah. If you work it, it, the Father's always listening. Mm -hmm. Yes, everyone's included now. The times did change, but it's part of the story. Mm -hmm. The whole thing is, um, having that relationship and knowing the scriptures, like really, like really having that relationship with it. And uh, it's a great place to start. But what happened with me, I could not have helped. There was no way. It's something much greater than me. I'm like, I'm nothing. I'm saved by you yeah. and by this word because I chose to follow you. What? And I just, the Holy Spirit having, I had the St. Paul experience is what I, the mm -hmm. only thing I can classify it as. Probably your dad had the St. Paul experience too. Do you know what happened that made him do that? Or He just, uh, he got sick. He no, went, he, uh, had a, he had an accident. He didn't have any of that. He just, uh, what? a friend of his, Told him to go to church, him and my mom to start mm -hmm. church, and he did. And it just it changed after him there. a period of time, it started changing. And then, then when he got saved, he just and baptized, and just he just continued like um, he had read the Bible cover to cover. Yeah, you need probably to do multiple times. Oh yeah. I mean, my mother had read it cover to cover like three or four. My dad because every morning. He got up. He needed before it. he started. He would always read several pages of the Bible before breakfast. I do encourage it. <laughs> and and then he just always did that. And then if we couldn't go to church due to weather or something, we had church at the house. Wow. We would read the Bible, read scriptures, read whatever. So I'm not alone. Yeah. So I'm not the only one. <laughs> you know, to me, it's just, he just went. I just went ancient. I can't even know what to say. It. But I know it was before the Catholic Church because that's why I was going to be a priest for. Now the priesthood of that is a duplication, symbolic of the one in the scriptures, mm -hmm. but it's from Rome, and it's a. Uh, he does not dwell there no more. <laughs> he doesn't dwell in buildings. My preaching is like we are it. We are the most important, advanced creation that there is. Everything that is made, we made it by our creativity, our engineering, but his grace and, you know, by however that knowledge comes to man. And it, it, it did, you know, uh, all this stuff can really get to us, the materialism, the, mm -hmm. the, the business, the spiritual aspect of it, which is the most important. And that's well, what I'm dealing with right now. So yeah, something that big, really so I need your blessing. To agree. And all the all the focuses on yeah. ourselves, not on the people, not to help the people around us. It's that all I think everything's being based on greed. Everything that's done today is what it how it helps the individual, not yeah. selfishly. It's, selfish. it's not self denial as the Messiah has said. Yeah, it's selfish, it's selfishly selfish and, greed. and the gracefulness of giving. He says it's better to give than to receive. Have you tried that? Try it. And you will like it. And it is true. You feel the, the betterness of it. And then more blessings come to you from above, which is just so supernatural. It's all about faith. It's the era of faith. But we have this book that told us these things that we are not doing in Christianity. That is still, still revenant today. Well, Christianity came from Rome. It came from Constantine the Great, and they mixed it up really good. Roman Empire was always going to be the strongest, and, and on the land it was. But, you know, the Messiah came, and he's calling us out of the Babylonian, the, the self-denial, the, 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 the selfishness, um, because it's huge today. 
And the woman, the woman, the way she dresses is the number one before that. <laughs> you know, we try, we, we, we become slaves to this, to serve this, which is the woman. And, and it's terrible because how they dress today is just so another thing top. Um, there's, there's a lot of things that are... Then the racism. If we don't want to talk about the United States and that, the difference between humanity is like... There's still, the there's still slavery today in the parts of the world. Oh, the whole world. The whole world. I, you told me about the taxes. You told me about all that. I was like, that's the slavery I'm talking about. Yeah. Now everybody's a slave in a whole different way. So that's what the scripture says. We're heading to a new world order, a new world, one world religion. And it's all Babylon. It's, it's, it's happened before. It's nothing world, new. One it's world just, religion, one world currency. Yes, one, one world everything. One, one world. One root. One language. Mm -hmm. And that's how it was in the time of Babylon. The Babylonian tower was Nimrod. So we really got to... That's why I came in. Yeah. But this experience, this Sabbath, brought me to meet you and hear your story. So I'm just like, you know... It was pretty cool with Tommy. You seem well, like a really calm, gentle guy. You, were, you, you don't seem like a hateful person. You were a blessing in disguise when you came I mean, because you're the first one that showed up, and then everybody showed up after that. And without y'all, you know, without all the people the other day that helped us, yeah. I would have never been able to get it done and what I got done. Absolutely. And I had to tell him, hey, uh, I'm going to need a little raise. I was like, I'm gonna need at least three bucks more, you know, because it was a lot of moving. It would have been hard for us to definitely, it'd be so much work. We, it would be a long time, but right. he did. And uh, I always say, don't be afraid to negotiate because how you work and how you feel, if you're gonna be bothered. And I was so pressured with a mural and the signs that I'm doing, which you'll see later. I just don't publicize that right now. I don't know why, I don't do it right away. I do when it's done. And uh, I've just been so busy with a lot. I just had just gotten back in the sun. I could only work on it like four hours, five oh pushing it. Yeah, today. and it gets too hot. I'm like, there's no way, not even that. The paints dry up. Yeah. Like, I can't even, it's really tough. So um, that bought me a little time to do here. So yeah, that's what I got to well, do. Go, <laughs> go on here, yeah, brother, with you. your day. I'm Good to meet you, uh, Mr. Right. Dell. Absolutely. Uh, 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 I would like to talk to you more about uh, at least one day about taxes and oh, insurances yeah. and all oh, that. Yeah. Hallelujah. All right. Hallelujah. God bye bless bye. You. Thank you.